Who are you? I'm your inner eater. My inner eater? Your inner eater, you know, the part of you that eats anything you want so you won't let yourself. I don't have an inner eater. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. I don't. Stop eating that. These are the healthy kind. They don't have much salt. It doesn't count. That doesn't affect the carbs or the calories. Oh, they're not even good. Yeah, you're right. They don't even taste that good. What are you eating? I don't even like that shit. No, you just think you don't like them because of that time when you were five and you ate so many of them and you made yourself sick. Oh my God, you're right. I do like that shit. Told you. Stop it. What? You stop eating that. Oh. You are treading on thin ice. Oh my God, I love ice cream. <gasps> you stop it. I'll go back on that diet of little packets of powdered soy. <gasps> you wouldn't. I will. Don't push me. Mm. I guess I have been giving up. I haven't even gotten on the scale lately. Okay. I'll make you a deal. Okay, I'm listening. Do you remember a couple of videos ago, I was talking about keto chocolate fudge? Yeah, I'm sure that'll taste good. I found a couple of recipes that sound great. How about if I make that? Will you eat that? You wanna pass me that box of candy? What are you doing? I'm making keto chocolate fudge right now. Where are you going? Loser. everybody welcome back to my channel today we are doing the recipe for keto chocolate fudge I'm gonna step backward a couple of days because I did already make it and right now I'm filming the big reveal here's what we're gonna need to make our keto chocolate fudge saucepan one and a half to two quarts erythritol I talked about that one in uh, a couple of videos ago I'll link that one up here if you want to read what I said about erythritol that's one of the artificial sweeteners that is uh, not so bad for us you don't want to do melatol melatol is not good for us heavy cream butter good old butter I never said it was gonna be cholesterol free just you know keto friendly this is a stevia sweetened chocolate bar Lily's no sugar added dark chocolate baking bar sweetened with stevia about a tablespoon of vanilla I like to use Mexican vanilla I think it has a better flavor a splash of bourbon how fun is that a casserole or some sort of a dish like this for putting it in and what's really important is parchment paper otherwise it's just gonna stick and that doesn't you know never get it out of there I think I got all the ingredients there so let's get started we're gonna start by placing our saucepan over medium-low heat and add one cup of heavy whipping cream then we add two tablespoons of butter and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one third cup of erythritol Stir that over medium-low heat until the erythritol has dissolved. That takes about 15 minutes. And basically what we end up with is sweetened condensed milk, only without all the sugar. After it's heated up and the erythritol is dissolved, turn off the burner and add a splash of bourbon. My camera decided it didn't want to stay on the tripod, so I had to hold it in my hand. That's why it's a little shaky. Stir one more time and set the saucepan aside to cool slightly while you put the parchment paper into the pan. I got tired of fighting with the parchment paper. I had a big sheet of it out here. I ended up just cutting it to size. And you know, that's fine. Yeah. Parchment paper, how are you supposed to manipulate that? I'm also gonna add some walnuts. I like to leave the walnuts large 
Then when you cut into them, you've got chunks of walnut in there. Okay, candy bar, I've broken up into squares. It's about a cup. Trying to get this on camera is not easy. The mixture has cooled down a little bit. I reheated it because it didn't seem like it got thick enough. So, but it needs to cool a little bit, but not so cool that you can't that the chocolate chips won't melt. So now the mixture has cooled down enough, a little bit, not a lot, because you still want it to be able to melt the chocolate. I'm stirring in the chocolate. I use that whole bar of chocolate, and once this is smooth, then I'm going to stir in the nuts. It is dissolved, and I'm gonna add my half cup or so of the walnuts. Stir those in. Oh my God, this is tasting good. I took a taste. So pour it into the parchment. Get it all in there. What do you think, Rainy? Rainy approved. Put it in the fridge for about an hour. So this is the big reveal of my keto chocolate fudge. Oh my goodness, somebody cheated. Somebody already sampled it. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm going to take it out of the container and cut it and try some. Here's the big reveal. This is my keto chocolate fudge. It looks wonderful and I did, I did sample it already but I'm gonna do it just like they do on Food Network now. Mmm, my God, this is good. Holy cow. Mmm, this is good. Oh my goodness. It's definitely chocolate fudge. It's very sweet. It's firm, it's not gooey, but it's not like rock hard. It's pretty moist. Not everybody likes walnuts in their fudge, but I do. I think it came out really good. Let me know if you tried it and what you thought of it, and if you have any uh, varieties you'd like to share. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Works really good. Bye.